Look at this thrift store. Look what we got here. Look at this vintage Joker figure, $15. If it wasn't so scratched up, I'd probably get it. Um, they got some. They got a Spawn figure, Spawn on Throne for $75. I actually have that one already. What else do they got? Oh, this is cool, Street Sharks. Three bucks. I own a few figures. They still have the Batmobile. Blue Star Wars. The old sticker set, the Turtles. Some more, more loose stuff. Stay puffed. Forty-five dollars for the set. It's, these are really uh, like battle damage, though. That's pretty cool, though. And then they have, um, I think that's from uh, Waterworld. That one. They still have the ninja. I might get this actually. Robocop. Yes. Ooh. Oh, I got one of these for the price. Dude, look at some of these dolls. The Punky Brewster. I think I've shown that one off before. They got Miss Piggy. Nixon, or uh, Reagan, Rosie O'Donnell, Brooke Shields, I didn't even know they made a Brooke Shields toy. Oh, they got a Spawn one up here. Oh, Mr. T, they got Mr. T right in there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this, this, uh, this is the place where I found um, all those comics. Yeah, it's all the, looks like it's the same, same comics that were here last time. Looks like a lot of the Spawn ones were gone. But um, it's cool seeing a lot of these like vintage dolls. Never knew they made a Burke Shields one now. Got a Homer, Bart. What is this? That price tag. Got a wrestling figure. You got Steve Urkel over here. Big old Lisa Simpson. Sometimes you'll find like a mixed bag of cool stuff in here. You got a watch. Gold Homer. Pretty cool. So miscellaneous bag, not sure how much of that is. You guys remember this guy? How many of you guys remember him? I have several actual uh, like figures of that guy. What is this? Yeah, found a vintage, vintage 89 tin Batman lunchbox. Pretty cool. Ooh, this is pretty cool. It's a price of $17 at Universal Studios. Man, this is something I really need. I really don't need it, but I need it. It works, it's a gumball machine. You guys know I got that Batman New Adventures uh, gumball machine, a lot smaller, but this is like a full on one. Oh, jeez. This is really cool. This is something I would love to have in the toy room, but uh, oh, man, not for the space right now that I have. It's just too much going on in the toy room, but if it's still here next week, I might get this. Hey, look. It's my sister's boyfriend, no, my sister's husband's cousin. I've mentioned that before. But, uh, man, they got a couple pops of them here. I got a Superman pillow. This is what, uh, this is what everybody thought the new Funko Pop craze was going to be. The, the Beanie Babies, but I think uh, Funko has surpassed that. Ooh, that's a cool looking mug. Look at that. I didn't even see the, um... The sign in here is five. Everything in here is five dollars, or five for twenty. So that's that's actually really good, really uh, good prices. I mean, there's nothing in here that I want, mind you. But whoa, something just slammed. But uh, yeah, not too bad. I never knew they made a vintage commando figure. Oh no, it's Predator. I never knew they made those. This is uh. Imagine having this in the toy room. It's an actually working light. Uh, I don't even know how if this still works, but it's 150. I remember when these were on clearance at Toys R Us. What are they asking? They're asking $95 here for that. 
That's pretty interesting. What? The, oh man, they still have this here, and I really do want it. I, again, it's a, it's like a vice, but the price. Did it go down? I actually think this went down in price. Still, still pricey though, but this is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, so this was kind of just like a spur of the moment thing, me coming to the uh, outlets because it was Jacob's first day of school. I have the day off and I figured, you know what? I'm in the area, let me go to the Orange Circle and see if they have any you know, vintage stuff. I wasn't actually planning on picking up anything, but I did pick up a few things, nothing major, just a few little things. Um, I ended up picking up that sticker set of the turtles. So you guys can see that right there. I don't know if this is vintage or not. I don't know when these were made. Uh, they look they look vintage to me. I mean, it says 1989. I don't know if that's actually when these were made, but it's 36 stickers. I'm not sure if I'm going to open them or not, but just cool to have for like nostalgia. And then let's see what else I got in here. I ended up picking up this Batman here for five bucks. This one I actually got at Torpedo Comics. Hopefully you guys can see that. Is it focusing in? It's probably focusing on my face, but um, I got this guy right here. Five bucks, Torpedo Comics. So got that guy, pretty cool. And then I ended up picking up the troll Donnie. I don't know what the other troll figure is that I have. I'm not, I don't remember if it's Mikey or Raph, but I got the troll Donnie. And then lastly, I ended up picking up this little street shark, street shark, street shark, street shark figure, which I thought was pretty cool because I do own several of the street sharks. I don't think I have any of the hammerheads but this will look great on display with the actual figures but uh that's that's pretty much it guys it's a quick little video hopefully you guys enjoyed it um thumbs up the video if you guys have picked up anything new recently let me know down below if you saw anything cool in my video that you guys would have picked up yourselves let me know down below thank you for watching guys later oh come back anytime bring your friends